So in this video, I want to explain how do I embed a image, an image that I've made on my Google Drive. And specifically for this assignment, how do I get this meme that I made in my last video into the rich content editor on Canvas? So how do we do that? Well, first let's go over the assignment. This is called Your Money Story. This is question one attitude. So this is, there are three questions here and the first one is about your attitude uh, with money. So it explains here this assignment has three steps. Okay, so let's go through this. Create a meme in response to the question, what is your attitude towards money? When I created this meme, that's what I was doing. Step two, explain your inspiration. Step three, finally fill out this Google form. Now it says here, here's a video that explains how to submit your meme. That's the video we're, we're making right now. Here is a sample of the work. We're going to make that sample right now. These tips down here, the first one is a tip of how to answer this question, how to think about your attitude towards money. You can consider what is it used for? That might affect your attitude. What role does it play in your life? What is your relationship to money like? What feelings or emotions does money bring up to you? When I made the Yoda meme, I was thinking about what is your relationship to money like? I was thinking, well, often when you have it, you will spend it, and that is the relationship I find many people have uh, often in our society, and I have that as well. I have the money, I want to spend it. So I focused on that, and I made the meme. Tip two, if you are stuck on how to explain your inspiration, why did you make this meme, consider the following. Why did you create the meme? To fix that, it says, why did you create them meme? How does it connect to your experiences with money? How does it address the question, what is your attitude towards money? Okay, so this is the follow-up. After you make the meme, you want to explain its relevance. Why did, why did we create the meme the way we did? Why, what does the image mean? What, is, what do the words mean? And then how does it get to our experiences? We want to explain a little bit. The resource down here is the resource we need to get the meme into the HTML. So it says to create your image URL. I'm going to grab this, all right, no quotation marks, I'm going to leave those out. So I'm going to grab this piece right here. And this is a little difficult at first, but once you have the hang of it, you have the ability to get images in to an HTML, or in this case, what's called the rich content editor. This is an image uh, that we're going to reference in a moment. Okay, so I want to submit my assignment. I click Submit. This thing down here is called the rich content editor. I'm going to go to embed image, and here it asks me for a URL. So bear with me here. I'm going to paste in that code I just grabbed. What I need is the file ID. To get that, I go to any image that I've made in Drive. I'm going to click Get Shareable Link. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. The file ID is the code right here. That's the code that starts after this D slash, and we don't get the slash, just the numbers, and ends at the slash here. That's what this image is showing. I'll show you when I paste that over file ID. See, there was a file ID right here. I just paste that. And I can go to other sections here. If I click on dimensions, it pre-fills it. I click update, and the meme goes in. The file ID, it's a little bit scary to look at. I included this image from another website I found that has the file ID in it. So that's, what the, that's where the file ID is in the code. Now I've got the meme in the rich content editor. Great. Now I want to um, give my explanation for my inspiration. Where did this come from? So first of all, memes often refer to very specific references that only certain groups might get. So for example, this is Yoda. He's in Star Wars. Not everyone's going to get that. So I want to explain, I chose Yoda, a wise character from the science fiction series Star Wars. I think Star Wars should go in quotes and referencing a, a movie. Eh, I'll just leave that as Star Wars. I'm not sure. Um, a wise character from the science fiction series Star Wars who has no need for worldly possessions especially money. So I chose him because I think he stands out in contrast to money and 
he is a he represents something else. I like that. Also, I wrote the phrase spend it you will instead of you will spend it because Yoda says things backwards. That's it. When you are referring to something specific that you know about, right? Not many people will know who Yoda is or that he says things backwards, but that's what's going on here. So I want to explain that reference. Now I want to explain, if I go back up to my assignment here, I want to explain, okay, that was why I created the meme in the way I did. And that's referring to the image and text. How does it connect to your personal experiences and how does it address the question, what is your attitude towards money? All right. So this connects to my personal experience with money because it is very easy to spend and our society pushes us to spend it. When, I'll say this, when I was younger, and I'll put in parentheses, even a bunch today, whenever um, I had a tendency to spend any money I had. For example, if I ha had $600, I would spend $600 on something big, like a bike. So, you know, whatever the actual amount was, I don't remember when I bought my first bike, but the idea is I, I would have $600, and instead of saying, okay, maybe I'll spend half that and save the rest, the rest. I would just say, okay, I've got 600, so I'm going to go buy something that cost $600. And so that was my personal experience. And it's my belief that money is very easy to spend. And that's my attitude about it. It's easy to, easy to get rid of. In fact, too easy. So we're likely to spend it. Now you can keep elaborating on this, but I think that's pretty straightforward. It explains uh, the, the cultural reference of the image and the phrasing of the um, writing and also explains just really quickly a very specific example about how I would spend money and how I, I believe many people spend money. And that's it. So I'm going to submit the assignment. So, yay confetti. When you submit this assignment, uh, some of the instructions I might change because as I read through them I found a typo and I think I can make this clearer for you. But the idea is to get an image of a meme and the explanation for your inspiration right in there. Thanks.